good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. Oh, you're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> Everybody's a suspect. Hey, Ted, where the hell's Mark's bro? Don't fuck with the Chuck. Welcome back to Toe Tag Reviews. I'm Chuck, and today we're going to be talking about Carrie. It came out in 1976 and was directed by Brian De Palma. Before we dive into the review, please make sure that you are subscribed and you have the bell notification on. Now, with all that being said, on to the film! The movie begins with Carrie White at school, and she had just started her first period. And as embarrassing and traumatizing as that will be, she seeks help, but instead gets humiliated. Hey look, it's PJ Souls, and she's totally being a bitch right now. Miss Collins comes in and gives Carrie a solid slap to calm her down. She snaps, and here's where we see her power for the first time, which is a pretty cool power. She has fucking telekinetic powers, dude. Carrie gets sent home, but can we talk about the dickhead principal for a second? He calls her Cassie a couple times after being corrected. You said in Cassie right it's carrie white come in cassie carrie i don't know he's just a turd we get introduced to margaret white carrie's mother she spreads the good word of the big man upstairs spread the gospel of god's salvation through christ's blood she is a lot with the Jesus talk, and a lot of people in town agree. She goes home and gets word that Carrie started her period, and here's the kicker. She takes it out on Carrie, because that's her fucking fault, you know what I mean? She preaches more Bible talk and locks her in the closet. At school the next day, Carrie's teacher is reading Tommy's poem, and Carrie loved it. Her asshole of a teacher mocks her and makes fun of her, just like everybody else in this movie. Tommy sticks up for her, though. You suck. In gym class, Miss Collins pretty much puts everyone in check for messing with Carrie and threaten to ban them from prom. We get a really long scene of Miss Collins forcing the girls to work out, and Chris is like, nah, nah. Sue is feeling like a complete ball of shit right now, and rightfully so. So she decides to do something nice for Carrie and tells Tommy that she wants him to take Carrie to prom. We see Chris and her boyfriend, Billy, throw insults back and forth, and after a couple slaps, she decides to blow him? Okay. Tommy goes to the library and asks Carrie to prom. She knows something is fucky and she's like, bye. Miss Collins calls Tommy and Sue out on their bullshit and Sue genuinely wants to make it right. And I can respect the effort she's making. Like prom is one of the biggest moments for any high school girl. And the fact she's willing to sacrifice that to make up for what she did to Carrie, I can respect that. She's still a turd, but I can respect that. Tommy goes to Carrie's house and after a little pushback, she finally agrees to go to prom with him. Billy and his boys go to a pig farm. You know what happens here. <laughs> Carrie tells her mama that she's going to prom, whether she likes it or not. Her mom reacts exactly how you think she would. And here's where she learns of Carrie's power. And I'm so proud of her for sticking up to her mom. Tommy and his boys go to tuxedo shopping and tell me this isn't 70s porn music. <laughs> Carrie is actually looks pretty good, and she puts Margaret in her place. They arrive at prom and all eyes are on Carrie. Miss Collins has a heart to heart with her, and it's genuinely a sweet moment. To see Carrie smile and be happy, and in that moment, it just shows her becoming her own person, and it's just kind of like a beautiful thing. Tommy and Carrie share a dance, and not only did she dance with the coolest kid in school, but she also got a kiss from him. Ah. Tommy and Carrie win prom king and prom queen. Sue sees the bucket of pig's blood and tries to warn her, but Miss Collins kicks her out. Now, this is it. Carrie's big moment. And here comes the pig blood. After being humiliated once again, Carrie just snaps. She unleashes her powers and attacks everyone in school, pretty much setting the whole school ablaze. Chris tries to run Carrie over, but Carrie flips the car, killing her and Billy, which good, because fuck them. Back at the house, she cleans herself up and Margaret convinces her to pray for one last time. She stabs Carrie in the back. Oh, you motherfucker. She tries to kill Carrie, and here's the VHS rewind moment. Clear. Clear. She uses her powers to stab her mom with literally every single thing in the kitchen. And I love it. Her mom was just like an insufferable character and deserved everything she got, honestly. Like, her mom sucks. Realizing what she had done, she uses all her strength to bring the house down. The movie comes to an end with Sue visiting Carrie's grave, and here we get the iconic jump scare. Toe tech score, four out of five. 
Pros, they had great acting. I love the story, even though I haven't read the book. It's an interesting story and I love the way that it played out. The cons, there's a lot of characters that just suck. And I wish more people honestly would just stick up for Carrie, but that's just me being nitpicky. Like we all went to school. We all know that one kid who was just a little different and everyone just ganged up on him. I don't think that's right at all. I mean, this is a movie after all. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'm Chuck. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and until then, See you later.